This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Annina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Edelie, Stray, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Brianna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nurse, Nura, Matcha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kaylee, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Benna, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Caden, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxid, Nicole, Terry, and Hala. If you would like to support the channel and get some pretty cool perks, such as exclusive weekly audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. Are you for real? You know you can tell me the truth. We've known each other long enough now that you can be honest with me. If it wasn't good, it wasn't good. No, I, I won't ask you a third time. If you think that the fried pasta squares are great, then you think the fried pasta squares are great, and I will continue to make you the fried pasta squares. And also, I, I gotta be honest, I thought they were pretty good too. Yeah, you know, I've never really done that type of frying before. I always use the air fryer, but hey, you know, it turned out well, and that's all that really matters, right? Exactly. <laughs> I am uh, no, but I'm I'm really glad you liked it. I wanted to try out something today. I know we usually either just get takeout or we make something super simple or we go to my classic chicken parm recipe that I know you adore. Even though you tell me you adore it, we can't have it every date night week of the week so uh <laughs> yeah exactly now i have other uh fried italian variations it's perfect right exactly perfect 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 oh my goodness okay um so what do you want to do for the rest of the night me okay i do have options for us I, and I figure you probably knew that, so that's why you 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 were comfortable pawning this responsibility off on me, which is fine because here here we are. Okay, um, number one, we can stay in and do whatever we want and just enjoy ourselves here uh, as we do. Uh, two, there is a, a trivia night at the bar tonight. And uh, Liam and his new girlfriend, Mariah, I think her name is, is going, are going, they are going together. And they said that there are teams between two and four. So if we wanted to go and join them for trivia, we can do that as well. I know it's a bar and I know I don't drink, but hey, you know what? Shirley, Te did you know Shirley Temples are the highest, like the most ordered non-alcoholic beverage at a bar? Cocktail, not beverage, cocktail. So fun fact, so what I enjoy a little bit of um, cherry and a little bit of Sprite, doesn't, doesn't everybody? <laughs> All right, uh, option number three, there is a, concert downtown and uh it i actually don't know who it is uh but riley says it's good and if riley says it's good then it has to be good because they listen to music more than any of us combined so gotta trust them on that so if you're interested in that we can do that as well uh or we can if you're feeling a little bit like you don't want to stay in, but uh, either of those are too much social interaction for you, too fast paced. We can just go for a walk, you know? Yeah, get around, stretch the legs, maybe go to the park, get a walk in. Maybe there'll be like a food cart laying around we can get a snack at, something like that. Oh, uh, are you done with your plate, love? Can you pet? <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I did, didn't I? I did do that. Like right there, huh? Wow. You know, I was thinking it would be some sort of profession or something along those lines, uh, a grand spectacle for you to see, or at least something that wasn't just an accidental uh, admission in basic everyday conversation, but it happened, so I, I can't exactly take it back now, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it wasn't a mistake for sure. It was, it was a mistake that I said it in the time that I said it, but it's not a falsehood. I do consider you to be on a level, uh, of admiration and affection inside of my heart that I would call it love. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's a really good question, though. I, I just don't know if I'll be able to pinpoint it, but I can try. Because it, it's it, it happened to me in a way. I, lots of my friends that I've talked to, our friends that I've talked to, they say that it happens. They're very, it's just a sudden there. It's right there, and it's there forever then, and you don't get rid of it until you pass away or you break up uh but for me or if you're someone that falls out of feelings i don't want to say those are the only two ways uh it's, it was just kind of this wave that just came over me it wasn't it wasn't staccato it wasn't abrupt it was just things started gaining momentum towards that level of feeling and it just kept going and it just kept going and it it and it's literally just been exponentially increasing for basically the entirety of our relationship i would say maybe past the first four dates or so but if i had to to pin down one moment Do you remember when we got the news that your uncle, and I'm sorry for bringing this up is traumatic. I promise that we're not touching on this for a long period of time, but uh, that night where you told me that your uncle passed and you were crying and I came and I picked you up and we drove to that over look of almost the entire city and nobody else was there which is crazy because people are always there doing all sorts of you know extracurricular activities but we just sat there in the car and I just held you and you talked and you stopped talking and we we just sat there and we we looked out and there was a silence that felt so comfortable. And that that was the moment that I, I truly think I, I clocked that I would be I would do anything for you. And the only people that I would do anything for are people that I love. Because in that moment, all I was thinking is I would move heaven and earth f to make you feel better. I would do whatever the world required of me or you required of me. And that then I was just like, okay, that's, that's, I think that's love. I think, I think we're in the love camp. And then it just kept going, man. Every single day I find something new to love about you. Every single day the emotions become stronger and stronger and stronger. And I guess we are just at the point where the emotions were so strong that they 
they clawed their way out of my body in your presence. Usually they have the courtesy of doing that while we're alone or while I'm alone. So, but yeah, there it is all out on the table. The cards have been dealt. Uh, by the way, I just want to really quickly say this, right? Because I, I, I wouldn't feel like a good person if I didn't. You, please, if you do not feel the same way about me, please, you do not feel obligated to say it back. I want you to experience your emotions at the pace that you experience them. And if it's not synchronized with me, that's totally fine. I don't want you to feel guilty about not being where I'm at feelings wise. And I, I don't want any burden on the shoulder. It's just something that came out and I didn't want to lie to you about it because that would be rude. And if I was, if I just said, ha ha, psych, I don't actually love you. Teehee. That would be just the <laughs> horrible, terrible. Uh, so I told you, but don't feel any. Yeah. Okay. And why is that? Yeah, no. The floor is yours. Hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, remember that whole speech? And I gave where I said, you know, it's totally fine if you don't feel the same way as me and our feelings aren't completely synchronized and I'm a little bit more ahead than you are in the falling stage. Those are all true. Oh, but thank goodness you feel the same way. And it's not for the reason you think. It is for the reason that I... Don't know if I have felt as good in a while as I did when I called you love. There was something inside of me that just, it, 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 like, <laughs> butterflies. That's really the best way to describe it, even though I know it's corny and people describe that stuff like that all the time. And it's not actually butterflies. It's actually, like, not good stuff. The, 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 that's, that whole butterflies thing is a myth. You're actually feeling discomfort when going through the conversation, but it just, it, it, to, to, to further the analogy, which I probably shouldn't, but I, I, I've started anyways, it felt like a bunch of butterflies activating inside of my stomach and then coming out through my mouth. It was like this release of all of this tension that had been building up inside of me. And I was very, I don't know, I'm really happy uh, that I can now with your permission of course considering you feel the same way about me uh call you it for as long as this thing continues on if you will you're right i, I did i did only technically say love i did not say that uh, three three word sentence that is so common but I, I feel like if you are feeling the same way I'm feeling which is you have now confirmed it's not fair for me to be the only one who has firsts in this relationship so would you like to say it to me first but if you're not comfortable with it then I can say it first I love you too. To the moon and back, in fact. Yeah, just like, uh, it's a wonderful life. What do you want the most in the world? You want the moon? I'll throw a last rock there and bring it down to you. That's a horrible uh, Jimmy Stewart, but uh, we move on. So, uh, <laughs> I still do need that plate. Uh, but instead of you uh, coming over here and getting it, I think I'm going to come over there. And if you don't mind, I would like to steal one thing from you. 
You always wear the perceptive one. All right, plate in hand, going to wash these plates. Do you have any idea, my love, what we will be doing tonight out of all of the options given? Now, I hope you weren't just reading my mind just then, because as much as any thing that has you involved with it sounds like a miraculous task to take on tonight. I was myself kind of rooting for the walk in the park as well. Yeah, I was. I was. And, and I'd be a filthy liar to deny it. So I'm, I'm glad that you decided that was the vibe. I think, and don't quote me on this, because I know my fried uh, pasta squares were so good. Uh, that you probably don't even want anything else tonight. But if you're feeling like it, especially considering I only made one for each of us, and you know, sure, the steamed broccoli on the side is good, and we had a little bit of, like, one or two slices of garlic bread, but I think there's a shawarma cart in the park. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I saw it a couple of days ago, uh, and they usually have that thing going for about a week there. So just in case. Don't let me go.